Hi everyone, I'm Maggie. And I'm Sarah. And we're president and vice president of Bounce Out the Stigma. So I created this club at the end of my sophomore year, and what we do is we volunteer at special needs basketball clinics, and we teach them how to dribble, pass, and shoot, and it's a lot of fun. Over the past year and a half, we have had over 60 volunteers, and all of them have told us how much fun they have. It's such a heartwarming experience, and you really form a bond with all the kids there. So if you are interested in joining, please contact Maggie at batonhorsem at st.northernhighlands.org. Good morning, Highlands. We hope you're all doing well. I'm Jacob Makovsky. Alright, today's Thursday, November 19th. We're going to cover all things happening in Highlands. But first, let's start off with some possibly good coronavirus news. Moderna, a biotechnology company whose work focuses on drug discovery, drug development, and vaccine technologies, recently announced on Monday that their coronavirus vaccine was 94.5% effective, joining Pfizer as they compete to contain this world pandemic. Official sources have stated that together, the two companies can produce enough vaccines for a little more than 20 million U.S. residents by sometime in November. The first dose is going to the people with the highest risk, such as healthcare workers, emergency medical workers, and frail residents of nursing homes. However, as the need for a vaccine becomes increasingly urgent, the vaccine that would be widely available to the public is still months away. Hey Highlanders, this school year has been one for the books. Don't you want a memorable photo album that you can look back on it? Order your 2021 yearbook now. Go to www.balfour.com to reserve your copy before January 22nd. Speaking of the yearbook, do you want the best picture for it but you weren't too happy with your first picture? Don't worry because photo retakes are soon. Senior portrait retakes will be held on December 14th and 15th in room 100 from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Seniors must make an appointment by contacting Laura's at 908-964-08 or customer service at lorestudio.com. Underclass and staff retakes will be on December 16th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in room 100. No appointment needed. All virtual students are encouraged to come between 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Please note dates may change at any moment. You have some free time on your hands? Join Project BAM. BAM stands for Body and Mind, formerly known as the Northern Highlands Yoga Club. Learn practices that will help you with physical and mental well-being. November 14th and December 4th at 2 p.m. via Zoom. Email Ms. Lardier for the Zoom link, lardierm at northernhighlands.org. Everyone is welcome. The UNICEF Club at Northern Highlands is hosting a Thanksgiving basket raffle all in support of UNICEF's relief efforts for the recent Philippines typhoon. Enter to win a full collection of fall favorites, including Starbucks gift cards, fall coffee from Starbucks, fall blankets, fall mugs, and more. Each ticket costs $3 and you can Venmo the money to at Vanessa Schoenholz to be entered one time. Please list your email address as the subject of the Venmo donation to be fully entered. Jack is a junior at Pashkak Hills who has recently been diagnosed with leukemia. Help Jack fight his battle against cancer by mailing him anonymous letters of hope and positivity. If you want to get involved, contact Sammy Lever at leverass at northernhighlands.org. It's that time of year again. The Educator of the Year Award needs to be handed out. Help ensure that it gets handed to one of our own Highlands teachers by nominating them to receive it. Check your Canvas homepage for further information and learn more about the process of nomination. Now let's head to tie with sports. Thanks, Daniela. It was a busy week in Highland sports this past week with all fall sports in action. The football team had a great fourth quarter comeback led by quarterback Enzo Arona against Wayne Hills. The Highlanders pulled off the upset and ruined Wayne Hills' chances at an undefeated year. Girls field hockey ended their season on Monday with the loss in the state tournament to Ramsey 2-1. It was a promising season for them in which they hope to bounce back next year and win some silverware. Girls Soccer had a quarterfinal state game yesterday against Paramus. 
Let's take a look at the results. The boys team will compete in the sectional semifinal against Irvington today at 2 after school. Cross Country also finished up their season as the girls cross country team won the state sectional for the fifth year in a row as all seven runners placed in the top 20. The boys finished fourth led by Kenny Morrissey who finished 10th overall. That's all for Highland Sports. Now let's see what AJ has up his sleeve. AJ? Fast cars are fun, but the weather is better. Good morning, Highlands. I'm AJ Alawalia, and this is your weather forecast. Today will be partly cloudy, with the temperature hitting a high of 48 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny, hitting a high of 60 degrees and a low of 42 degrees. A good day to take your dog on a walk, or even drive a car. Saturday and Sunday are seen to be partly cloudy. Monday, we seem to have rain showers. Tuesday will be partly cloudy, and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will also are seen to have rain showers. Lots of rain coming up this following week, but a little bit of sunshine sprinkled in there to keep us going. I'm AJ Alawalia. This has been the weather. Now, how about we head back to Daniel and Jacob? Here with some information about a new club on campus, it's Dad's Entertainment with our friend, Matt Onyfrak. Hey Highlands, I... Ugh. I know that for me at least, one of the worst parts of the last year has been losing out on those special elements of our lives that are difficult, difficult to replicate virtually. You know, going out to eat, seeing a live game or performance, or you know, heading to the theater to see a movie. Now, as we flourish between opening back up and closing down, it's still impossible to see a movie with all your friends. That's why I've started the Highlands Virtual Film Club. We'll be meeting virtually twice a month, once to watch a movie together, and again to discuss making movies. For watching movies, we'll be watching great classics like The Breakfast Club, Venom, and more. In terms of the other half, we'll be learning how to use the Highlands equipment to your advantage. I mean, you can even sign up if you're only interested in one aspect, making movies or just watching them. But we encourage you to participate in both adventures, at least once. Regardless, our first meeting is going to be early in December, so if you want to participate, make sure you contact me, Matthew Onafrak, or our film teacher at Highlands, Mr. Nadal, for more details. And I hope to see you soon. Back to you, Jacob and Daniel. And that's our show for today. Remember to stay safe, and see you next time, Highlands.